Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today my topic is to discuss is rotation. Okay, rotation. Whenever you talk about rotation, we need three things. One name and second is a, a center of rotation. And then third is a, a direction and angle. Direction plus angle. So direction and plus angle. Okay, and plus angle. So we need this uh, thing. Th okay, three things okay, for the whole thing. Let's start. First of all, how to do a rotation of this top, this okay. If I say that rotate uh, clockwise, rotate clockwise, clockwise, we have two kinds of rotation, clockwise and anti-clockwise, 90 degree. Clockwise, 90 degree. So let's see how we can rotate it at 90 degree. Okay. So inshallah, I'll try to help you. It is a little bit hard anyway. And center is given at P, center P. Okay. So center is given him here by him P. Okay. Let's start. First of all, because I don't have no any tool to show you, that is why I label it A, this B, and this point is C. Okay, I label it a, this B. Okay. So when you rotate it clockwise, clock, this is called clock. You all of you know clockwise. So this triangle will rotate like this. Okay. So let's see how we can rotate. Best technique count from the center. Okay. And uh, look at here. Uh, for example, this point, let's talk about first B. B is this way, two boxes. I repeat, this is two boxes this way. When I rotate this arrow 90 degree the, uh, clockwise, so this, this arrow is going down. Look, this arrow is rotating, rotating, rotating. And then it stopped here. It is angle between here to here is 90 degree. So it means this arrow comes here and stop because it's called 90 degree clockwise. So it means this point B will come and rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate and stop here. So this is my answer for rotation of the B point. So I'm stopped, I'm just rubbing it. And B, this is called a B dash. Wait and watch. I will explain, inshallah, rest all, then you can ask me. Let's talk about C. See how much away from center? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, hold on. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. So this way, seven boxes. Okay. So when you have a seven boxes this way, again, a same thing. When something is seven boxes here, here, and when you rotate about this point P, so rotating clockwise, look, it's going on, it's going on, it's going on, rotating, 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 is going and going and stop. So actually they're rotating like this and stop. And what is angle from here to here? 90 degree. And I have followed the 90 degree rotation. Okay. So it means count this seven, this seven, this seven, this seven. Uh, my line is moving, my line is moving. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it means this is actually an extended line, extended line, extended until I reach here. So it means this is a point of A. I have rotation. This done. This is this, I think, very, very clear. So this is a point is called A dash. So C dash. C dash. So okay, this is B. I'm rubbing from here and I'm writing B dash here. Now, last thing and final thing. Oh, I think we have to write not here here on the other end b dash here and c dash here let's talk about a last point and then inshallah you'll see how we can get rotation okay what a where is a from center that is a p so center is two and three boxes hold on i repeat two okay you can count even this way no problem like this and this if you don't like counting like this you can count another way how come three and two look three boxes up and two boxes right so when I talk about three boxes up and uh, three uh, and two boxes this way, so when you rotate this L shape, okay, L shape rotating, what happens? This shape rotating, you can see that rotating, rotating, and ultimately it comes like this. And look at here, rotating. And now check it, I, I rub the middle part all. So check it here. What is angle between here to here? It is called 90 degree. So look, look at now, I think I, I think now inshallah successful. So this is a, a. Now look at, look at A, look at here, and look at here, and ultimately it comes here. How come here? For example, again I repeat, again I repeat. So these are three boxes and two boxes. So it means three boxes and two boxes. Three boxes, two boxes. Three boxes, two boxes. Three boxes, two boxes. So this is my answer. This is a little bit hard because I'm not in front of you. Otherwise I can show you my hand, uh, my, uh, my movements of hand, okay? So I can show you the way. This is my answer. I'm going to show you. So inshallah, I believe you will understand this is rotation. Uh, Alhamdulillah. 
So let me erase this, all these things. Now you can see that uh, this is my rotation. Uh, center is P and this whole object rotated like this. Example, C comes here, uh, A comes here and B comes here. So it means this point, which I the last point is come A dash. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I hope so you got the concept very clear. This is the one thing. So let's start student, but one part is over. Now I'm going to do uh, uh, clockwise, clockwise, but this time I'm doing 180 degree and center P, center P. Okay, so let's see how we can do. One part is already over, now the rest I'm going down. So first of all, I can do this process in two ways. How come? One is a 90, which I have done already. And again, 90, I will get answer. Repeat again. 90 plus 90 is 180 degree. I can do process. First is a 90 degree. Again, 90 degree, I will get my answer. Or second option, directly 180 degree. Okay. Uh, so if I want to do, uh, let's say, I think I should teach you now uh, 180 degree directly. How to do 180 degree? Okay. Let's start. Let's start. So a little bit hard. Uh, let me try to do explain you uh, 180 degree. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, first of all, ABC, you have very clear, and I want to do 180 degree. First of all, ask how much is this B away from center? You say, sir, two box rightwards. Okay, if two box rightwards, center is P. So my children, let's start. One degree, two degree, this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This is 90 done. Then 100, 110, 120, 130. So it means 180. So this is called rotation 180 degree. So if this B, if this point come here, so it means one degree. So two box rightwards, so two box downwards is 90, and two box left side is called 180 degree. So this is B dash. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, you've got a B dash. Just wait and watch. Let me do both other even. Let us see. See how much away from here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. So on this line, seven boxes. So, so this box, seven boxes. So, so, so B here and C here. So, so 10 to 20 degree, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. If C dash come here, this to this is called 90 degree clockwise rotation. But now 100, 110, 130, 140, 170, and 180. So this is again 90. So from total from here to here is called 180 degree. So C, come, C dash, first it came here, and now it comes here. So let's, let's start now, inshallah, I believe you will understand inshallah well, and let's start for the 180 degrees. So common sense, this C is here. If C comes here, it is 90. Again, it goes here, it's 180 degrees. So let's start and count the boxes. Seven boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is called C dash. So I think this part is also over. Now last and harder part is here, and harder part is that how to do uh, A dash. So let's talk, count three and two. So I repeat again, from center P, from center P, three and two, three boxes in this way and two boxes this way. So let's count three and two, three and two, and three and two. It means three this way and two downwards. I got 90 degree. Was how possible is a 90 degree count? Check please. What is angle between these two lines? You say it's a 90 degree. Okay, now three and two, Three and two and three and two. Okay, stop. How come, sir? And what is the angle? Let, let, I, I rub the rest whole part and check. How much angle is from here till here? It's called 180 degree. So three and two, 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 and three and two. So this is my A dash. And wait a minute, please. I show you once again. If you're not understanding well, just give me one minute, please. So inshallah, I believe you will understand. And I have done, uh, this is called uh, 180 degree because look at here, it, it, in 90 degree, it comes down. Okay, it, it came here. Let me show you. It came here. Uh, wait a minute, please. Let me show you. Uh, I think three, yes. This is, was a 90 degree. This was a 90 degree. Again, 90, 90, 180 degree. So I erased the middle part. So this is my final answer. Of a, uh, wait a minute, let me confirm. Let me confirm. Yeah, exactly right. Is a hundred percent correct. And that's it. We have done two parts. Now, student, I'm going to start a question. This is a uh, a question paper. It is. It came in October 11, 42 variant. 
okay and i'm doing only rotation from here and what is the point rotating i am discussing now one point point b i he said draw the image of triangle t triangle t is here and i want to do rotation 90 degree and clock anti clockwise center 0 0 is called origin all of you know and label it b he said so let's follow it okay 90 degree i'm writing here 90 degree anti clockwise anti clock and center what center is 0 0 so let's start this point so bismillah rahman rahim so anti clockwise so let's start how we can do this one inshallah i believe you will understand so first of all where is center mark center center is origin he said so i will marking or you know is zero is a center okay so first of all i label this is a this is a b okay a already used so i use different letters l m n okay done so let's start how much this l away from center i have many ways to count i can count uh, two one okay i can count one two no issue at all Uh, okay i because i have to go anti clockwise so i'm just uh, not a matter but i for sake of my understanding i two and one i repeat again two and here and one box here okay if i okay i make it here two and one if i rotate it anti clockwise so common sense so uh, so uh, it may like l shape two and one two and one two and one so i will stop here why stop here sir you can ask me because the angle between here till here is 90 degree that is logical behind some student asked me sir how to know when to stop when to stop because i can see that what is angle between this line and this line is 90 degree so let's start 2 and 1 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 so l comes here l's become l dash i repeat again if you're not understanding at all I hope so. You got the idea first. This one, I apply the same criteria on M. Get ready, please. So six and one. I repeat. How much from center? Six and one. Six and one. Six one. Six one. Six one. So six one and six one. I got here M dash. I hope so. You understood the way of rotating. How uh, the point rotates. Okay. now i'll go for the last point and that is easy inshallah as well so what took n 6 and 3 how 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 on 1 2 3 so 6 and 3 and look at here 6 and 3 6 and 3 6 and 3 so i got it here so i will rub everything i will rub everything okay now this point is coming uh, this point is becoming n dash n dash let's join all these three points and inshallah i believe you will understand inshallah very easily alhamdulillah rabbil alamin i got the answer from this rotate and came here and this rotate and came here and this rotate and came here so we have done an all angle if you want to just review our answer right or wrong so you can see that i take a blue color line i just make of understanding so check it please a rough idea so if i make a line with a center with a m and center with m dash you can see that uh, see that this angle from this line till this line is 100 percent 90 degree and not even this not even this even you even for example you join with a, a, a n or n n this is a line for n and this is a line for n n dash and check it please if you have a way to calculate the protector you can see this is a 90 degree for confirm okay so n shifting on n dash is a for clear alhamdulillah rabbil alamin this point is also clear to you so we have done is n 90 degree anti clockwise so let's start student now i'm going to start reverse question reverse means uh, normally uh, first we draw image but this time if you read a question see i part describe fully single transmission that maps map means shifting so p on to w and i said before a lot of times before on to word whatever this is called object and after on to word is also always called image it means p is shifting so p is object and w is image confirm it is going here it is called clockwise if by mistake you misread and you thought w on to b so out of three marks you will lose one mark for direction only because you write anti clockwise but actual answer is clockwise so i think you have understanding well 
So be careful and must focus what is before on to and what is after on to. Okay, so now I have to describe and three mark question comes always. Why three marks? One mark I'm writing here, one mark, two mark and three mark. Number one for name, number one mark for name. Number two mark for center of rotation. Number three mark direction and angle. So direction. So let's see. And now I will concentrate totally here. Okay, come back. So let's see now rotation. One mark confirm. Second mark is the hardest part, but because you know that, uh, let me let me read again. It is a P on W. Yeah, P on W. Yes, correct. Because I forgot P onto W. P onto W. So what is this called? Is it called clockwise? Clock, clock. So clockwise is confirmed. I'm writing here clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Clockwise. What is direction? I think 90 degree. At least center is issue, for example, with you. But at least you got two marks. One mark on the rotation name. One mark for clockwise 90 degree. So how you know 90 degree? Look, yes, let's start. For example, this peak point and this peak point. If you join a line with the, with the center. Oh, sorry. First of all, you don't know center. So let's try to find center first. Center is actually we find by two ways. One is by using a compass. Compass. Okay. Compass, we can find it by compass by using drawing two perpendicular bisectors. Two perpendicular bisectors. I will teach you, inshallah, later on. Okay. And the second method by counting boxes. By counting boxes. And is this called what? Trial and error method. Trial and error method. Why trial? Because sometimes compass will take a lot of time. Okay, so we can we can guess, we can guess. It's called guess method. So for example, you know that, let's talk about this point shift here, this point shift here, okay, this point shift here, and this point shift here. So actually, if you look at carefully, if I check it here, so if I count center zero, zero, so one and one, one box this, one box this. So one, 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 and one, one. So it means center is look like a region. Center, okay, for example, you want to check it, this one. Okay, this two and four. So two and four and two and four. You see, you reach from here till here. Okay, I think gradually understanding what is going on. So center, I, I, I it's called a, uh, like a, mostly, you know, he gave a region, zero, zero. So I'm writing here, zero, zero, but not always zero, zero. I'll show some question onward, inshallah. Center is not zero, zero, but I will tell you how to find center. So I think center, you got it, okay? And uh, 90 degrees, and now center is here. Let me join a line. So I am I am considering this point L and this point L dash. So let's try, let's try to make a line. Uh, L, L, this L, and this line L dash. Now common sense, what is angle between here to here? Definitely not 100 degree is 90. In our syllabus, 60 degree, 65 degree, 32 degree, this kind of angles never comes, okay? In our question, our syllabus, mostly we have what? Only 90 degree comes and 180 degree comes. So that is why, so don't worry about those, okay? So that is why we have a 90 degree confirm. Look at, it is not possible 180 degree. 180 is definitely below, this below, okay? Which is not possible. So I hope so. All this idea is very, very clear. And we got it and we got well that how it is 90 degree and I explained to you in detail. So Alhamdulillah, this part is very, very clear and question is complete. So student, let's start this question. We have this question. It came in a October 1141 variant. And I'm discussing, or discussing only and only rotation. For example, what is going on? Describe fully single transmission which mapped A onto D. So A is shifting on D. So A is object. This is object. And this is image. So I'm writing A onto D. So let's start. And also three mark question. I said before, this kind of question, whenever comes for three marks, Three marks Y, one mark for writing name, second for center, and third for direction. So let's start. So I'm starting this one A on to D. So let's start. Bismillah rahman rahim Okay. So, so, so let's start now. So A on to D and how to find center. So first of all, I try to do it. Uh, first of all, name, rotation. One mark you confirm you get by... Uh, by uh, name, writing center is, I don't know. Let me write empty space here. And then uh, A onto D. So A is onto D. Okay. Maybe if it comes from here even. So I'm not sure about it. So I'm, I'm not writing the direction now. First of all, decide. Where is center? Okay. 
so sent to okay so let's start now um, uh, the center so so let's start the center and how to find center let's see how we can find center it's a little bit hard so let's try <clears throat> Okay, so let's first of all see now how where is center. If I think zero is center, if zero is center, for example, so if A is object, so this is object. How much? Okay, let me label first. L, M, N. Sharp edge is here. Okay, sharp edge is here. So this is called L dash. This is 90 degree. Look at here, where 90 degree? This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This is called M dash. Okay, this is a n is n dash. Now, first of all, see, if I count zero as center, so from zero, it is something uh, that this is a two boxes and this is a count. This is, I think, let me check, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So two and 12, two and 12. So I have two and 12. So if two, 12, so this is no way two, 12. No, no, there's no chance. So it means no way that center is zero, zero. No way, no way. Okay, let's try here. Let's try some point here. Let's try here. Okay, this is a this and two. So if I rotate it, this one, um, for example, I go this way and this turn back, this, 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 this. So I'm not getting the answer. No, 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 not at all. But I tell you what my eyesight can understand easily. The center is this point and this point meeting at this point. So most probably center is this one. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Is this center true or not true? Let's see. How much L away from A onto D, he said. A onto D. Uh, uh, how much L away? L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 box below. 6 box below. Okay, and the six box below means six box below, six box, six box, six box, six box, six box, and six box. And check one, two, three, four, five, six. And it means if I rotate uh, clockwise, this is called clockwise. So if I clockwise 90 degree, I think it is matching. But let's see, not confirm. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Up till now, match. Let's talk about. Uh, M, M will go on M dash. So let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. It means, it means six and six boxes. Check please. Six box here and six box here. Okay, six and six, six and six, six and six, and six and six. So you see it gradually is rotating and it comes on a same point. So I think this is working. It's somehow I got it working, okay. But let's see if I try last, last point. And I try with the M now, N, sorry, N. So let's talk about N. Where's N? N is here. Where's N dash? N dash is here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, sorry, six, six boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It means six and eight. So six and eight. Okay, six and eight. Okay, six and eight and six and eight. So it means I'm rotating and gradually I'm reaching. So it means the center is matching now. And somehow, Alhamdulillah, I think got it. So center is what here one and here negative three. Repeat. A between zero and two, one, and between minus two and minus four is minus three. So center is coming this point as one minus three. So one minus three, and because 90 degree, I'm coming this way, so 90 degree clockwise. So 90 degree clockwise. So I agree with you, uh, this is a not easy task to guess the center, hardest part to guess the center, okay? So uh, this guessing is the hardest by two ways, one is uh, uh, compass. Okay, I just show you rough idea. I just show you rough idea on the same screen. So first of all, take a screenshot of this one, and then I'm going to uh, doing with the compass. 
And I think you have done the perpendicular bisector concept. Perpendicular. Okay. So you have to draw perpendicular done in lower grade. I'm discussing that now. Okay. For example, I'm discussing same point here. Okay. Inshallah, I hope so you will understand well. So let's start. I'm erasing it. I'm erasing it now and I'm showing you. Let's start. What is L, L dash? So let's start a compass. You know compass. A compass has a one, two points. One is a sharp uh, corner. One is a pencil. Here we fix some time pencil. Okay. So there's a pencil here. Okay. You will put needle, uh, a needle at L and make an arc. But how much arc? What is the gap between L, L dash? More than half open. More than half compass. So let's see. I open this kind of arc. This kind of arc. Now put needle at L dash and make this kind of arc. And this point and this point you will join with a compass. So Lisa, I, I'm, I'm joining. I'm joining, wait a minute, please. This is a line I'm joining, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I join. I show you how to join the line. It's a little bit hard for me because I'm doing on computer. So that is why this is, this is joining. This is called uh, first perpendicular sector. Actually, it is not coming like that. I show you again, uh, if my line is coming, uh, with the center, center was this. Okay, so I show you, this is my first perpendicular bisector. How come when I put a needle at L, then I will draw an arc, I get this kind of arc, and L dash, I get this kind of arc. Okay, now second perpendicular sector, first I use L, L dash, okay? Now I'll use N and N dash, or I can use M, M dash, even no problem. Okay, so let's see, I use N and N dash. Okay, let's start. Okay, for the date, I tell you because I want to show you the answer is coming such like this. For example, okay, this is a second line. I change the color of blue pen, blue color. Uh, this is a send, this is a bisector. Uh, okay, I'll make it again. Then inshallah, I believe you will understand better. Put needle at N, put needle at N and make an arc like this. Put needle at N dash, make an arc like this. And where the cut, we draw a line and both line intersecting at center. And this center is what? This center is coming x1, y minus three. So I think this is this concept, you got the idea. So we will draw uh, two perpendicular bisector. Repeat, draw two perpendicular bisectors. And where the meet, wait a minute, please. Wait a minute, I show you. Right, okay. Uh, and where they meet, where they meet is called center, is called center of rotation. I think idea is very clear. And I drew one time I to choose L and L dash, I got red line. Okay. And then I use N and N dash, and I got blue line. But you can use M or M dash, no issue at all, no problem at all. And you get the answer is here center. I hope so. You got the idea. And then you can find easily what is angle between lines. And that's it. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen.